blessings and blessings. What's up, y'all? My name is Preston Smiles and I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their external circumstances. And today we are going to be talking about the five ways to clear negative energy out of your vortex, your space, your mind, your relationship, your, your family, whatever. Like we're clearing all the negative energy. But before we do, number one, if you are new to the family, new to the vibe, new to the tribe, new to the love's voice family, because that's what we are. That's what I am. That's why my hashtag is I am, we are, hashtag love's voice. Because each of us is love's voice. We are love's voice manifest. And so if you're new to this vibe, new to this family, make sure you click that red subscribe button. And for anybody who's returning, I love you. Um, and make sure you click the like button and leave a comment below so that YouTube and wherever else this is being shown uh, shows it even more. So today's transmission is the five ways to clear negative energy. And before we go into the five ways, I want to talk about what negative energy actually is. You see, there is an idea that negative energy, and I know this is probably why you clicked on this video, but um, you know, everybody has different opinions. There's an idea that negative energy is bad energy, is wrong energy. And I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, what I'd say for how we would dictate and determine what negative energy is, is energy that is not in alignment with where you currently are. Because sometimes um, negative energy, as it's defined in regular culture and the people who, you know, sort of stay at the surface, is well, if you're angry, then that's negative energy. Well, anger is a beautiful emotion that um, tells us that something is no longer working. Something needs to be burned down and it creates space for, for, for new seed and for new life to grow. So what we're calling negative is could be considered positive in that light. So negative energy from where I sit is about what's in alignment with me now. If it's out of alignment, right? Have you ever been sad and somebody walked in the room who was super happy and you're like, ah, oh, that doesn't feel good. Like I, I, I'm in a grief moment and I need to stay in my grief. I don't need to be jumping all over the walls because I'm experiencing sadness and sadness is not wrong or bad. It's just another emotion that comes with a human. And so in that moment, the joy is out of alignment for that person. Everybody following? Please just, just Say, P, I got you. P, I hear you in the comments below right now. Um, just so, so I know you're following and you're tracking what I'm putting down. So negative energy is any time we are out of, of alignment with what the, the truth of our being is. Because each of us has an internal compass. Right? All of life has been teaching us unconsciously that um, our compass is out there. But the truth is, is that it's internal. The truth is, is that Mm. 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 Divine pause. Mm. See, I could say that this is a mistake, a uh, mistake, um, and I need to stop the video, but everything is perfect. I don't believe that the universe, God, Buddha, Krishna, Jesus, Allah, Source, Divine Intelligence, I don't believe it's ever made a mistake. And so if me uh, having to sneeze paused me, s slowed me down to the speed of wisdom, then I trust that too. So alignment, alignment, negative energy as I'm defining it is when we are out of alignment with the truth of our being and the truth of our internal compass at that time. Mm. Way number one. Mm. So simple, but not easy to remember. Way number one is to move your physiology, body, and your breath. Oftentimes when we are experiencing negative energy and we're in a space that doesn't feel good, we forget that we can move. Literally, 
move your physiology. Oftentimes, we'll be you know, hunched over. Move, pull the shoulders back and down. Move, put the hands up. Move, beat the chest. Move, change rooms. Change perspectives. That's one. Also, whenever there's fear or uh, we go into these, these uh, automatic functions like fight, flight, freeze, and appease, whenever we go into these automatic functions, oftentimes we, uh, we forget to breathe. And uh, air, breath, is life. It's cir circulating the breath. Most people are chest and up breathers and we want to breathe all the way down into the bottom of our belly and give the, the brain more oxygen. And more oxygen equals more choices. Right? So this is actually step number one. It's not even just way. One of the first things you get to do is change your breathing and change your perspective. Mm. Let it land. Also, tell me which one of these numbers you know you need to work on the most in the comments below. Way number two, go outside. I don't care if it's freezing, I don't care if it's scorching. Go outside, let the sun, let the wind, take your shoes and socks off, put them on the ground. The earth has a electromagnetic field that it is pulsating. And when we take our shoes and socks off and we allow ourselves to get into nature, which is what we come from, which is what we are, um, there's a recalibration that happens. So I'm just gonna leave that right there. Go outside. You wanna clear negative, misaligned energy? Get yourself out of the building. Ooh, yes. Mm. Number three. This is a little more philosophical, but uh, I'm going to pose it in a question. When we think about a power plant, a power plant, does the power plant produce energy? Or does it harness energy? Does it create energy? Or does it harness and use energy? Because you and I are no different. We are divine power plants. The energy is, let that land, the energy is. We can use, harness what is and change the game. So this is, number three is a reminder that you are, hmm, you are the, the holder of the cards. You get to decide how you use the energy. Ooh, love it, love it, love it. Number four, we're almost done. Number four is do primal exercises. One of those could be a primal scream. Go in your car, go out on a, on a cliff somewhere, go uh, to the beach, go to the desert, go in your room and put the pillow over your face, or if you live alone, and just scream, ah, ah, ah. Remember, we, we, we are, we did this as children. We did this as babies. Anything that came up, we just, oof, experienced it. Ah, ah, ah. And the next moment, happy, smiling, running, jumping, playing, pooping. That's because we weren't holding on to the energy. We were letting and allowing the energy to clear itself through primal exercises. Another one of those exercises could be what I call joy alarms. Set three alarms a day. Every time the alarm goes off, you go burst into joy, reasonless joy, and just allow the cells of your body to feel what it feels like to be in bliss for no reason. Oof. Last one, number five. What we think about and think about, we bring about. Number five is gratitude. And I don't mean like, mm, I don't mean like, uh, like oh, I write my gratitude to my journal. I mean like let yourself be moved, moved by that which you are so deeply grateful for. You know, I think about my kids. 
I think about their smiles. I think about the pitter-patter of them running from room to room, knocking stuff over. Oh, it just lights me up. Figure out what that is for you. And then lean into it, breathe into it, allow it to expand in your consciousness until you experience yourself with a different frequency. Blessings and blessings, everybody. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your time, your attention, your love. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and please leave a comment below and click that like button. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'll see you soon. 